Ellen McCauley prayed out. Uh, last meeting I talked about sleep. Has anyone thought about their sleep anymore since I started talking about it? Good. My Fitbit also keeps track of my heart rate. What I find very interesting is my average heart rate went up 10 beats a minute when I was in Las Vegas. And my average daily heart rate went up from like 50 to 60. And I have, I suffer from a really low heart rate and the doctors are keeping an eye on it. But I wondered why, and it wasn't stress, because I'm stressed 24 seven usually. And I wondered if it was uh, not, I was eating a little bit more or maybe the altitude, I don't know. But I love being able to check it out. Uh, you should be between 60 and 100 beats per minute. I have a little chart here. It calls it a fat burning heart rate. Where, you know, if I go along my whole life and my heart rate's 50 or 60 beats a minute, I'm not about to lose any weight by increasing my metabolism. I should be getting my heart rate up to 78 to 132 beats per minute. I had to go and have a stress test and they actually stopped me. I had no problem getting in the 130s. I was on that and I was moving along and they were very impressed with that. That I would go from 50, because as a matter of fact, they got all these diodes on me and I'm standing there getting ready to take the stress test. And I go, I'm really nervous. This is really making me nervous. And my heart rate was going, boom. Boom. 47. Here I am. I'm really nervous. And they go, we'd hate to see it if you were really, really nervous. So anyway, I got it up to 132. And uh, all I'd say, check with your doctor. Don't go from nothing to trying to get your heart rate to 200. I also have a nice article in here on winter vegetables. You know, so many people are eating the same old crap. I just want to throw some different ideas out. I think you'll like this one. Roasted cocoa cauliflower. Put some cocoa on your cauliflower. It sounds pretty darn good. And everyone's out there going, I'm going to do that one. I thought so. Parsnip and kale gratin. And they're going to say, you had me at gratin, Ellen. Also, carrots and dill. I'm going to ask you to check those out. And I like this. Jerusalem artichokes and Brussels sprouts looks good. Chicken and root vegetable soup. Check out those recipes. Stopping right there, Bobby.